guys you're welcome to Bones of Tutorials once more again we, today we're going to be looking at how to uh, go about with ports how to discover services that are running on your ports how to know uh, which ports are running and uh, could infect your system could uh, uh, could let uh, could give uh, access to other people to other computers to your system or other malicious people can get through those ports to reach your system we want to know what is port enumeration mostly and what is this port port world so first I'm just going to be using um, nmap for those of you who don't have a nmap you can download it it's a free software it's a free shareware for both Windows and the Linux platform. So first of all, I'm going to get a victim. <laughs> so right here, I'm just using an uh, to take to to, take, to give a uh, a disclaimer is that please, 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 all this is used for education purposes. If you use it illegally, you'll be penalized for it. Having known that, let's go ahead with my one six one six a dot one two slash run soft run soft bang I've fallen to my side then I think I have a very wonderful client right here this is remember this is used for education purposes if you hit onto something wrong and people find you they get to find you out don't call me to bail you out so first I start writing my nbub minus ace minus ace I'm just going to explain this in a minute. So, what does minus s minus s mean? First of all, what I will require of you is that you get some uh, good knowledge about TCP and how TCP IP works. There is what we call synchronization. There is what we call an ANC, an ANC, and uh, lots of other stuff. So, right here, this s represents for sy synchronization. So, it's what actually it's saying right here is a is that nmap make an nmap scan of all synchronization ports all synchronizing ports at the victim 72.34.452.210 so when you hit enter it takes a little while and then and then bang right so we have my 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 I don't know even how to say this we have services right here we have the state of the ports and we have the ports define themselves look at this FTP port at, uh, at 22 uh, 21 22 it's open and it's SSH we have SMTP at 25 we have RSM, uh, RSFTP at 26 all of these ports are open look at our SMTPs it's also open. My SQL is also open. So we see that this system can be easily compromised because these all of these uh, these ports can uh, be reversed, and uh, we can get a reverse connection through them, or we could uh, just find some vulnerabilities that are uh, lying inside the, the ports. So what we have made is just a scene scan. So uh, what most people have wondered much about. Nmap is that Nmap has different ways to deal with 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 uh, posts and gain getting information because there are some posts that can even give you information about the system. So if we had to go just right here and just type in the exact thing that we are, uh, we we type in a diff quite a similar thing, but it could give us amazing amazing results that will blow us up and it it, would, it opens up a lot of possibilities and a lot of information for us. Let's say let's just modify it the very first scan that we did so instead of a scene scan I'm just going to say please can you search right can you search all service um, as in all services available on that system so we make uh, what we call what NIP knows as a service version detection right we make a service version detection first we oh, oh this has to be lowercase Yes, and then uh, service detection, and then uh, minus minus PO. This has to be in a, a, 
uppercase minus P or what minus P O says uh, actually means is that don't ping just make a scan but don't ping because when you ping it makes a lot of noise and intrusion detections can uh, can uh, have problems with your traffic uh, that you're generating so minus P O just cancels out all kinds of pinging so we enter and then it takes a little while tap 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 right then here we are and uh, we have wow this is now amazing you see if we can to compare uh, like the different kinds of scans that we had like this was our first scan it just gave us only this information but now take a look, a look at uh, this the second scan it shows you really quite other things that were we're not even supposed to be seen say for example here we ended on services we have now pure FTPD we know the kind of version of the FTP we can find out the exact exploit for that FTP so we have SSH we can find out the exact f exploit for S this, uh, this service and the seams we can find out all of this ex look at this this is a Linux S um, SNMP multi multiplexer we have apache it's running we have my xql and this is the version so we see that we have a lot of things that we can get hold of and as we see here uh it shows us that uh, our host is actually running on linux our host is powered by linux so if you are anyhow good with uh, any linux distro or you have any linux distro like for example I have a here backtrack I can get into my backtrack and I find a way of how to manipulate with these different services I can keep on a I can make things like a I make more scanning I can just start make, ma making a penetration tests uh, penetration tests on it like for example I can use fast track fast track which is a very very amazing thing right so there are lots of them uh, uh it will be another tutorial to show you how to do that but it's kind of a thing <laughs> come on so guys i hope you really enjoyed and like this tutorial if uh you really wish for more tutorials please subscribe read and comment on my tutorials thanks a lot